Hi, welcome back. All right, so we've got our score kind of set up, but there's a few more steps we need to go through before we actually can start writing some music. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually add a few more staves to the piece here. Uh, so to go ahead and get started with that, I'm going to select my stave tool up here. And then you can see when you pick the stave tool, a bunch of handles light up, uh, denoting that you can actually start dealing with staves. And then the staff menu also popped up here. So I'll go ahead and select that, then go to New Staves with Setup Wizard. And then I'll go about just starting to add the staves I want to add. So I think I'm going to add a few keyboard staves. So I'll come here to Pitch Percussion. Let's see, holding down Command, I can select multiple instruments or com uh, Control on Windows. So I'm going to add a marimba, vibraphone, and timpani. It's not a keyboard, but it is a melodic instrument. There we go. And I'm also going to add, let's see, a drum set. Let's go ahead and toss that in there. And just a general percussion staff. And I'm, that's actually going to be using the uh, concert band combo, but I'll just use this as kind of a starting point. Now, I'd actually like to put them in a different order, so I'm going to do that right now. Select marimba, let's put that up at the top. Let's move the vibraphone up a spot. And those other two look good. I also want to add a little bit of space between the different groups. Like I want my melodic uh, staves grouped and then my sort of quasi rhythm section grouped as well. So I'll just click the add vertical space button here and that'll add that in there. And you just click the stave uh, that, or the staff rather that you want it um, above. So there we go. All right, so that's good to go. Go ahead and click finish. Now this box isn't anything to uh, you know, freak out about. It's basically just saying that it couldn't find the percussion layout for these particular staves. It's going to say that for the drum set and the percussion here and probably any other unpitched staff if that's the way you go about uh, adding them into the score. Uh, but there's nothing to worry about. Just go ahead and click OK through this. We'll actually assign them later. All right, cool. So they're added in with names and all. One thing else, uh, or one other thing rather, that I'd like to do is go ahead and add a little group this little bracket out here. I want to add one right here. So there's two ways about doing that. One is coming up to the staff menu. Go to groups and brackets. Click add. Then um, you'll want to choose the staves that you want it to go through. Right now it's snares through uh, percussion. I actually want it just the bottom two, drum set and percussion. And then I'll choose my squiggly bracket. That's the one I sort of like. I guess this is more squiggly. This is the line with a couple of little curves. Then click OK. The other way to do that, I'm going to come up and undo that, is to select the staves through which you want the, uh, that bracket to go. The only, only extra thing you'll have to do when doing it this way is... Um, in addition to choosing that, instead of uh, keeping this as measure one-to-one, -one, because that's what I have selected, you'll just need to come up and choose all measures. Then go ahead and click OK. All right, cool. So we've got that added in. Now, the next step, um, we're almost done with this one. The next step will be to actually, uh, remember earlier we copied over those percussion layout uh, files, or the library files, the percussion layout file was one of them. Uh, that pertains to something we're about to adjust for all of these staves, or at least the two at the bottom. If I just double click here on the snare staff, you'll see we've already got our percussion clef. Um, you could come in and change that if you wanted, but we'll go ahead and leave that as percussion clef. Notation style is as percussion. Now these are already set up because the um, this is what came built into the template. Now if I come to select here, you can see that the snare line manual full slash light is already chosen. Uh, so that one's good to go. And the other three battery instruments will also be good to go. And then you can also see there's um, a pretty large array of things you can configure here on a per staff basis. Uh, but we're going to leave those how they are. I think it's all good to go. So rather than getting out of this the uh, staff attributes dialog box, I can actually do all this editing for all the staves right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click down. There's tenors, bases, cymbals. Marimba, see there the, the clef changed to uh, treble clef. Changing the bass clef there for timpani. All right, so now we'll actually need to come in here and choose. Uh, the notation style is already good. That's percussion. We need to choose our percussion layout. 
Notice nothing's actually selected. So for this one, it will be drum set basic. We'll be loading in the drum set manual. Uh, that's the one that corresponds with that. Hit select for that. And bump it on down. And even though the name is percussion up here and right there, uh, we'll actually be choosing the concert band combo. Notice the percussion notation style is already selected there. This one's a little farther towards the bottom, I believe. Scroll on down. There we go. There's all our combos. Concert band combo. And select. Then we can go ahead and click OK because we've got everything adjusted the way we want to. All right, so that's it for this video. In the next one, we'll actually be getting things wired for sound, so to speak, and start loading in some instruments. So we'll see you next time. Thank you.